a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. So here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5-2 fight. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps into the octagon. And a victim's list. That includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC lightweight division and has the frame to compete up, and he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, the celebrities are out, the floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Well, hopefully you can take oh! oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. separated from his conscious. One, no. Oh! oh. 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 Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Is blocked. Oh, nice knee. Oh, big knee. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Wow! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, what a performance. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. 
it couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times, walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.